Abu Ghafla's phone was like an extension of his hand. At work, during meals, even in bed, he swiped through apps and notifications. He signed up to every single group you can name. There is not a minute in the day that he doesn't receive a notification. That's why his productivity is bad. His sleep suffers and he barely progresses in anything in life. Abu Shuja'a, Abu Shuja'a. Abu Shuja'a uses his phone with purpose. He sets specific times in the day to check messages. While he studies and works, he locks his phone away. And of course, he doesn't have Instagram or TikTok on his phone. That's why he's highly focused, productive, and efficient. He always has peaceful sleep, and that allows him to achieve anything he sets himself to achieve bi'idhnillah. Constant phone checking hurts more than it helps. And setting boundaries and using it with purpose can transform the actual device from a distraction to a tool that you use for success. There is a concept called choice architecture intervention. I've been using it for years now in my daily life and it made me way more productive than, I, than I've ever been in my life. This choice architecture intervention refers to the design and organization of the ways in which choices are presented to you with the goal of influencing your decisions. In simple English, it would be basically you know, creating systems around your habits, your daily habits and, and distractions as well to prevent them from happening. For example, if you know that usually when you lay down in bed, you tend to pick up your phone and go on Instagram and start scrolling for three hours and it causes you to sleep late. Then next morning you are tired. You can't even focus on what you're doing then set a system for that not to happen by locking your phone one hour before you, you get in bed, for example. That would be a system, for example, that you can put in place and it would cause you not to fall into the trap of, you know, picking up your phone and spending hours before you go and sleep and being tired next morning. And I know you already might be thinking, yeah, but I have this other problem if I lock my phone, etc., etc." Or like, for example, I need an alarm to wake up with and my phone wakes me up my brother just just buy an alarm clock buy an alarm clock that 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 will allow you to wake up in the morning so yeah whoever wants to really accomplish something will find a way and whoever doesn't and it's all kalam all just talk they will always find an excuse yeah but yeah but yeah but yeah but so by strategically arranging or framing your options you can guide your instincts towards certain choices or behaviors and this can be applied in anything that you know is currently hurting you for example let's say that you are eating too much junk food and and internally makes you feel guilty every time you do it so think about a system that would allow you to stop that maybe deleting food delivery apps of your phone maybe automatically having a percentage of your monthly salary go into your savings account so you can so you cannot use it for for food delivery there's always a way this concept is actually used more than you realize you see when you go to a supermarket and and you get close to the cashier and you see all these you know shiny chocolate bars and gum and and the first thing that it makes you want to do at least is look at it and many people actually take it so, so they do it with the intention of you spending more in that supermarket for the purpose of business. And you can do it for yourself with the intention of becoming more productive. Me personally, I use this, this box right here to, to lock my phone away and not let it distract me. And throughout the day or when I'm doing something important, I just set a time right here and, uh, and the phone is locked. So I would recommend you to get something like this on Amazon. I guess I will put it in the description. And I have this kind as well, which, which allows me to at least pick up calls. So, uh, so these two quick fixes will help, help you immensely. It did help me a lot for the past years. So I highly recommend you to do it. And it will help you apply. Um, and it will help you basically being able to get rid of distractions and being more productive. If you like this concept, I didn't want to make this video too long, but I created this video right here that you see on screen right now, more in depth about every single aspect on how to apply this in your life. So go check it out if you're interested. Wassalamu alaikum.